these kids because they're Muslim and you get your jaw snapped for it. That's the bottom line. That snitchy bumbaclaw for you right there. Horrible little weirdo. And they're inbreds. They've got the same dars and Conor McKeough, what's up, kid? Bet you got your weed from Pakistan in the brum, they rum brum. I don't care where my weed's coming from, lad. I mix with a group of Asian kids, I mix with a group of white kids, and I mix with a group of black kids. I live with a black lad, I live with an Asian lad. I don't give a fuck what your colour is, what your religion is. If we've got a common cause and we can show each other respect, we're on it. Fuck all yous messed up by the system, hating on everyone because the system wants you to. He's all fucked, he's haven't got a clue what he's doing. Deserved his jaw broken, and he got it broken, Mark W, lads, because that's the type of horrible bastard he is. <laughs> Matty McGrath. Everyone keeps laughing at that. Have you ever had Sume from fucking Tia Pian? I haven't, I haven't, lads, I haven't been there. Uh, making moves. Is it coming home, Darren? It's coming home, bro. Taylor Cridlin, what's happening, kid? You good? Smokey Buds 420. Jay Horgan. So what I, what I think you're going to see now is a different me. Why? Because you haven't got the pressure of this message on my shoulders no more. You're on it. I haven't got this weight of choose a life, not a knife upon my shoulders no more. I haven't got to worry about how I'm conducting myself in case I get ripped by a, a goody two-shoes because I've said a violent word when I'm promoting this message. Now I can say what I want and do what I want without thinking I'm gonna contradict this message that I've just let go. Choose a life, not a knife. It's nothing to do with me no more. I carried it, I delivered it to the best I could. People stopped listening, so I'm stopped screaming about it. I move on to bigger and better things and I'll always be remembered for choose a life, not a knife. Always, always. Just because I'm letting it go, doesn't mean it hasn't made a difference in people's lives, because it did, definitely. And it can, it'll continue to do so. It'll continue to do so. Craig's faded, I told you to get back there and tell your ma I want a banger. Don't come in shouting daft stuff, lad. Just tell your mum to ring me and I'll deal with it. Boxing match with Martin. He, he, he's screaming for one. He's screaming for one. He wants to feel his ego. He wants a charity fight. I told him straight. No gloves or gum shields for you. You fucking Mongolian. Hey, I'm going to destroy you. And you know it. Hey, you crack smoking pervert. You're nothing but a ball bag. Hey, one ugly, horrible, inbred motherfucker. Look at the state here. Now go and get back on your pipe. You 50 year old perverted crack smoking grass. It's what you are, Marvin Herbie. A 50 year old perverted crack smoking grass. I haven't got to say no more, have I? Let's have it right. Hey, look at him. Hey, he's got an afro like an ashtray. He's got a mouth like a graveyard. You know, he's got a face like a fucking plastic surgeon's had the best time of his life with it. He's just a horrible looking monster. He's got one eye, no teeth. <laughs> he smokes crack, masturbates. <laughs> the stories I'm hearing about this Marvin, lad. The stories I'm hearing about this Marvin, this is what he'll do, lad. He'll go and score. He'll score his bits. He'll have a pipe and then sit there masturbating all night. <laughs> That's how fucked a 50 year old crackhead is, eh? Hey? Marvin Herbie. Smoking solid Sherby. <laughs> I can just imagine Ditchy now, la. Ditchy like that. <laughs> Going for it with Marvin. Marvin there on his pipe. Get down there, ditchy bumba clad. Hey, both of them tapped up, smoking the white and that. <laughs> James English in the background with a little apron on. Hi. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 
fucking hell. You can have jokes off these cunts for days and days, honest to God. Can you imagine that image though? That'd make you sick, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Can you imagine Ditchy? Can you imagine Ditchy Bumberclart skin? With the monster there and the pear there next to him. Like that. What's going, boys? <laughs> Got Atwood facing them, wanking over them. <laughs> Frenchy and Akin had a beaky playing the drums. Boom, 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 boom. They're all going in the same tune now. The five of them. <laughs> and guess what they've all got in common? The South Enders. <laughs> They're all from Softeth and Granby, you know. <laughs> Look at them. Look who I'm getting attacked by. Purple Aki, South Ender. Stephen French, South Ender. The nonce Marvin Herbie, but he doesn't know where the fuck he's from. He doesn't know whether he's Irish, Cockney or a Scouser, but we'll just give him the South Ender. We know who his dad is. <laughs> and then you've got Snitchy Bumberclart. Hey, <laughs> got a jaw wired here, got some snide beard, eyes off screen while he's blazing his bifters like he don't know. Blazing pure biffs on the sly. What a gang of fucking helmets, lad. Anyway, Darren, don't go out. You're making me piss. What's your thoughts on Darren Smith? Who's Darren Smith, lad? Liam Yates. Who's Darren Smith, bro? Oh, he's not the comedian, is he? Robs all my lines and spins them in that fucking place in town, the comedy shop, is it? Hey Ranku, what's happening la? Spit purple Aki in a tracky. <laughs> I shouldn't really be attacking that nonce that would, to be honest with you. Although we've done a half-hearted apology, which was obviously staged for whatever reason. <laughs> Yeah, I'm moving back, kid. Me bail's up in about four weeks. The case is dealt with, and then I'm back in Liverpool. What do you reckon about Matt Hancock? He's been set up, bro. He's been set up. Well, yeah, look at this, lad. I know, yeah, he's had an affair, banged to rights, blah, blah, blah. But look at the woman he's had it with. Why would a millionaire woman with such a powerful background Take a job for 14 grand a year. Why would she take an undergraduate job for 14 grand a year? Why would she lose out on 86 grand a year just to have that job to work under him? There's reasons why she was put in there. Now, if you look at these pharmaceutical companies that he was against, he went against one of them, I forgot the name of it. But that woman that he's now apparently had an affair with, her family or her business partner is a director in that pharmaceutical company. So it is what it is. Do you reckon Sean Atwood lies about his past? I know he lies about his past. We all do. It's all being confirmed now. That. that got confirmed that he was lying about his past. I haven't had the vaccine and I wouldn't. Mills, he's moving in with her. Bloody hell. Yes, JRB, how are you, mate? You good? L6 bullies back up. Getting blocked, lad, aren't you? Boss having dogs in the back. Like an alarm. Obviously, they're not my dogs. But anything that moves out there, the dogs are just on it. Bam, bam, bam. Danny Booth loving the art, you know, Daz no messing. The art's boss, lad. Mm -hmm. 
Whose dogs are they? The neighbours, lad. Got any questions about this? Do you understand what this is? Well, this is our old bedroom, mine and Danny's old bedroom. This is what you call dad. That's me taking my beating. That's Danny, or whatever the ad is beating. So that's basically what the picture is. Get better, that'd be powerful. Lee Mack, what's up, kid? Is that you in the corner, bro? Prison cell. Nice one for sharing me post, lad. Rim of VF. Sound lad, what post was it? That's what it is, brave art. Abuse, Danny Booth. What's the, when's the documentary? <laughs> How do you know about the documentary, bro? Not many people know about it. I wish Allah was with you during those days. He was, mate. We just didn't know it. Picture says a thousand words. I took a screenshot, Daz. Oh, my God. Good luck with that painting. <laughs> Lad, you're the weird one for fucking listening to it. Fucking Barbie doll. <laughs> Natasha kicking in, saying it's a tune. When's your book? My book's being written. Oh yes, Sam, remember that. Sugar Rush Heighten. People, if you want a Sugar Rush, and if you want a bag of sweets, get onto Sugar Rush Heighten. She's a sweet little thing. <laughs> Used to love that song. Everyone did, didn't he? Do you get much grief in Brum? No, lad. ARJP29. You've got a decent fame in, in Birmingham, lad. It's decent up here, lad. Obviously, you've got to have your nuggets. You jump on the same bandwagon as the sc some scousers. There's a few scousers in there that, that's got criminal friends in Birmingham, but that's about it, bro. Quince is putting the weight on, bro. Sure is, mate. Did you enjoy your stay in Wales? Sure did, original Arabian. Darren, lad, do you know who? I don't, mate, no. Bradley Rowland. Smedwick, Birmingham, St. Loco. I've been to Smedwick, lad. It's about 20 minutes away from where I am. You're going to see me all over Birmingham this summer anyway. When you're down not, mate. I don't think there will be, to be honest. Like, I've got no reason to be going down there, have I? Harborn, Birmingham, Boss Place. I've lived there, mate. Nick Sutton asking about Mad Dog. Which one, bro? James Goldie. I see him you a few times, Hagley Bold. That's it, same loco. Who are you, mate? Are you going into witness? Shut up, Hugo Bear, or I'll slap your ma's ass and send her up to your dad for a fucking. What's your favourite place to buy from Liverpool? <coughs> Glasgow. I've got Fury on this one, lad. L5 to C5. Ash Jones. Opinion on the vaccine? Swerve it. Just a family man, me does. Best type of man you can be, Saint Loco. Best type of man you can be, lad. Trust me. Foul and irons kicked in. Glasgow, when are you coming back, bro? As soon as I can. Well, look. I only used to go to these places to deliver me message. I haven't got a message to deliver now, so I probably won't be going to these places. You know what I mean? Leon Deer will do, brother.
that Liverpool is different. It's not a different place. It's not a different place. It's always been that way. Always been that way. Yes, I'm on it, Arch P29. Nice to meet you, mate. Any more news on Dazcam? You interviewed my mate and was good. Who was your mate, bro? It's not a lot worse. Why are you saying it's a lot worse? Just less control. Why no message to live it anymore? What happened to Kalnach? Tama, I've carried it as far as I can, mate. I've chucked that as far as I can. And that's it, la. It's over, it's done. How do you no longer have a message to deliver, bro? Because I've delivered all I can. As I was saying earlier on, la, if you're screaming something and no one's listening, stop screaming. Best advice I've heard all month. If no one's listening, stop talking to them. No one's listening, so I'm stopping talking to you. This is what it is, lad. Are you saving this on your IG? No, mate. Hello, Darren, a long time, no. So what's the motive? What motive? Motive for what? You've got to be doing something to have a motive, so what, what are you referring to? Okay, Nothing lasts forever. Fair play, bro. Respect to you. Send the message anyway. Still rep the L5 at. It's all about Liverpool 5 alive, people. It always has been. Choose a life, not a knife, has been there as a way of preventing young kids entering groups of lads who are going to abuse them. Choose a life, not a knife, was there to help people stay away from the prison system to help parents understand what their kids are going through and how to approach it different so it doesn't end up bad. This is all the stuff that Choose a Life Not A Knife done for people. It'll still flow. People will always remember it. There's a couple of generations that are always going to remember that slogan, Choose A Life Not A Knife. Powerful. Don't forget, there was no government backing. There was no council backing. There was no rich drug dealers funding it from the sidelines. It is what it is. It was just pure me. Powerfully put. Simple as that. Save this on IGTV, Daz, so can watch after work. Will you be speaking in schools or anything? I'm not really asked, mate. I don't want to. I'm not, I'm not here trying to get on stages in schools. Whatever comes my way is meant to be coming my way. All them obstacles that's landed in front of me and I've got round and gone through and gone over, they were all meant to be put there. You know, it is what it is. I've got a plan. It's a 10 year plan. This plan has been existent before my release from custody. That's when this plan got put into place. So it is what it is. I'm only five years in, a couple of months past five years into my plan. I've still got five years left. What you're seeing now, as I drop this message and let it go, and let it go to wherever it wants to go, I'm not really fussed about it. What you're seeing is the shift and change. It's a shift in energy. It's not me being stagnating. It's not me staying here screaming, choose a life, not a knife, screw it, da, 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 da. No, it's a shift. And it's a shift to a higher level. So what you're gonna see in the next couple of years from me is something completely out the ordinary. Completely different. I'll still be motivational. I'll still be inspirational because of look at my life story. Look what I've got through. Look what I've fought to remain free and stay free and be here, sat here, with a stable mind. Now don't forget what this mind's been through. This mind's been through the mental health shit. It's been deep stuck with mental health damage but it's come through out the other side. I don't give a fuck who I've hurt while I've been finding my sanity. I don't give a fuck what my words have done to rats out there while I've been keeping myself sane. You've got to understand how easy it is for you to lose your fucking mind if you let it go. You've always got to rein it back in. 
So when I'm saying I'm dropping this message, don't think I'm dropping to the floor. I'm a fuck. That's five years foundations laid and no one can touch them. No one can say it was bullshit. No one can say it was all faithless. No one can say anything about what I've just been doing for the last five years. For the five years that's coming up now, I'm appealing to the right people. I'll be mixing in the right group of people, the right circle of energy. It's already there, the offers are there, the opportunities are there. The only thing that's been keeping me away from them opportunities is myself. Denying them, declining to take part in them. It is what it is, lad. It's here. Choose a life, not a knife was very powerful. It made such a big difference to me. Massive difference. I'd be life off or dead right now if it wasn't for this message. So no one can tell me that it doesn't work. No one can tell me that it never worked. It's worked for me. And it'll always work for me. Now, you've seen me waving me lump ham around saying it shatters bones. That's fact. This lump ham eh, will shatter bones. Whose bones they are, I don't know. But this ham eh, will shatter bones. That's fact. Now I've had to tolerate a lot of bullshit off dickheads. I've had to tolerate it. I've had to bow down to dickheads. I've had to tear me back on them. I've had to not even respond to them. Why? Because of the message. And I'm not a hypocrite. So I've never really wanted to contradict what I'm doing. I've never really wanted to damage my own message the way other people have been damaging it. You're on it. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Now I haven't got nothing hold me back. Now I haven't got to stay in line because of this message. If I want to fall out of line, I can and not feel ashamed or guilty. If I want to grab someone and show them what time it is, I can without feeling ashamed or feeling like a hypocrite. I've gone nowhere. The same violent Darren G that he's all known for a very long time. It doesn't just disappear. He gets turned off. Like he can be turned on. What I've been doing for the past two years is turning him off. Dad and G, you grass, let's turn that off. Dad and G, you nonce, let's turn that off. Dad and G, you mars, a slut and a slag and all this, let's turn that off. No one's saying that shit now. But it's still being switched on. Everyone has a meaning, everyone has a purpose. And when you use words, recognise the words you use and can get you killed. Fucking hell, there's a few people I want to get in here. Let's see who it is. Yeah, let's get this hated in people. Always oh, declines, you little ball bag. Let's get this other racer in. Here's another one, people. Let's see what he's got to say. Fuck this shit. What did he decline as well? Another shit house declining. We're only human, G. We experience, we acknowledge, we grow and become better. Original Arabian. You right, mate? Scottish Marcus, what's happening, bro? You good? Sugar rush item, they all decline. Mate, they... I don't want to get him shit. Get on here then. Let's see what you've got to say. They're all mad. You know, don't, don't forget, you've got a lot of young... A lot of young men that get, get influenced by dirty old men. What do I mean by dirty old men? Remember years ago, when your parents used to tell you, watch the bad man, watch out, there's a bad man out there, don't go out. 
And we used to ignore it. How relevant is that now? William Crossan, your ma's got pooey breath. Your da is a drug dealing scumbag. And you're just a slap. Slap. Be sick if someone came on. Anyone can come on right now. Darren, what happened to that fella on the train? Which one, kid? How's the little lad of yours getting on? He's fine. Be on the gear when he's 15. Thanks to the family he's living with. Yeah, bro, all good. Scottish Marcus. I show all my mates your stuff, lad. The one podcast where you're speaking about your mates not answering their phones because they're fucked on weed. Most of my mates like that highly rate your stuff. I'm right though, aren't I, lad? I'm fucking right, aren't I? You can't even be asked answering your phone when you're stoned. It's mad, isn't it? People change when they're stoned and when they've got no weed. So when, when they've got no weed, they're all inviting. Ooh, ring me, yeah! Then when they've got weed, they just blank them. Lock off, let's get them on. I never answer my phone, can't be asked. Sugar Rush. How come you're all me today? How come you're all kick kicking in? How come you're all piping out? No, not that type of pipe. I'm, don't get it twisted. I'm simply asking you. It's the first time you've made more than five comments on a live feed. Oh, for Alfie C. Jack Carney. Go on with Jack. Who's Jack, mate? Where's Jack from? Are you bored, Sugar Rush? <laughs> Sugar Rush items, bored. I've had this bad chest on me for about a week, you know. Do you remember the first time you smoked, Darren? Yeah, to do me. Get your ass to Brighton, Darren, says Moroccan sunset. Boom, boom, boom. How's your day going, Darren, mate? Sound, Tommy. How's yours, lad? Jack's just a sound kid. So are you, Alfie, lad? There's loads of sound kids on here. Is anyone gonna start fucking tearing into a young lad for not?